Hey everyone, this is Julie with thecricutshark.com and today I'm going to show you how to make this rose out of everyday plastic spoons. Hey everyone, this is Julie with thecricutshark.com and I'm going to attempt to show you how I make um, plastic roses out of party spoons. So supplies I need, heat gun, I like this kind because it sets up on a stand and you don't ever have to touch it. Plastic spoons, you can use colored ones, you can use white if you want to paint them, white's a great one. Uh, blue gun, scissors, blue sticks, fake flowers for leaves, or if you want to try and put it on a stem stemware and floral tape. So let's get started here. We're going to start with the center of the rose. And this is going to be loud, I know. You can use a candle like some tutorials. I find the heat gun. Um, I like a little bit better just because it um, cuts back on the smell of the chemicals. I kind of heat it a little bit and then you can manipulate it into the center petal. down here for a little bit to get that warm and then you can cut it with your scissors really easy. So there's our center petal. Now I'm going to hot glue this on here. That way I can work a stem onto it. And then we'll start working on the outside petals. Okay, now I took the um, bottom part of a fake rose flower off of one of these. And I slid it up the floral wire and hot glued it. Now I'm going to show you how to make the petals, and they'll look like this. You're going to focus on the tip of your spoon, and it'll curl on its own. Let's give it a second. There it goes. Curl. You can manipulate it right after. And then you're going to focus first on the outside edge and then the other outside edge. down here on the end to see loosen up that plastic for you to cut it. Do it a couple more times here. I like to do ten petals all together. That's including the center. That way you have plenty to work with when you start gluing. Hug on that and manipulate it.
once you get ready to start gluing your petals on, you might want to play with them a little bit first to see which ones look best where. I like to put three petals around the base. And what you're going to do is add some glue down here on the first one and glue to the bottom and then just glue on the other petals. And then we're going to build out from there. So I'm going to glue these three petals on and come back. Okay, after you have your three main petals glued on, you're going to start building out from there. So what I do is I look for the area where the two petals meet and I'll start gluing on petals there. And just kind of build out on the flower all the way around. I'll show you what that looks Okay. So this is the third layer. Now if you were just going to make maybe a brooch or a big hair bow or something, you could stop here. Um, I'm This is the first time I'm doing this on an actual flower stem and I want it to be a little bit fuller. So what I did is I made more petals, but instead of causing well, adding extra on the spoon and making it longer like these ones are, I cut them off right at the end of the spoon part right here. And I'm going to glue these to make it a bit fuller, about five or six petals, and I'll show you what that Okay, is. so this is with the final layer around the outside. And I'm just going to add some floral tape and leaves. And here is my finished spoon roach. And make sure if you're going to put it on floral wire that you use plenty of floral wire because this is going to be heavy. And you can paint the tips with regular acrylic paint, metallic paint, or add some stipples, or just leave it. It's pretty white.